Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Harris and welcome to Rustic Flow. And today I'm going to be reacting to Andrew Short's abortion. Uh, I haven't seen this from his new stand-up, uh, The Infamous Tour, which he sold himself. And I still haven't watched it, but I'm so much looking forward to this. And I've so heard so much good shit about this, so I'm so much looking forward to this clip. So, without any delays, let's get to Andrew Short's abortion. Here we go. We didn't talk about uh, how they're taking away your scoop scoops, ladies. Did it? <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? They trying to take away your scoop scoops? It's unbelievable. I just want to let y'all know right now, ladies, uh, I am with you. I think it's your body, your choice. I agree with you on that. 100%. I agree with you when you say that men should have no say in the decisions you make with your bodies. Those are your decisions to make and yours alone. And I feel that way because uh, at the end of the day, when we all go up to heaven and God's like, why are we all killing babies? We're going to be like, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah. It wasn't us. It was them. I think they were very clear whose decision this was, guys. Uh, <laughs> looks like you I didn't like pay that. for your sins, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I paid for your sins. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Chivalry ain't dead to that baby is. You know the rules. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order that. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, abortion. <laughs> abortion, 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 man. It's a tricky one. When I was living uh, in my old place in New York, I lived down the block from an abortion clinic. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> location, location, location. <laughs> and no bullshit, that's the wildest place in New York. Like, it's a fucking carnival outside of there every single day. Like, people come to New York and they go to, like, Broadway plays and shit. They'll literally spend thousands of dollars to watch Harry Potter the musical when they could just stand outside the clinic and watch something really disappear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fetus deleters! It's funny how it, yeah. I remember one time I was walking by the clinic and I saw a father and his daughter outside and his daughter looked like she was 10 years old. Now, I don't want to divide the crowd politically here, uh, but for me, that's a little late. This is just me. I'm not putting my views on you. But personally, I think a fetus becomes a life around the third grade. That, that's, I think that's a life. I do believe that's a that's life. True. Okay? Yeah, Maybe we could roll it back a few years from now. But definitely, if you could spell abortion, we don't abort you. That's just the rule that I have in my book. Okay? So naturally, I'm like, yo, I got to save this girl's life. What did the kid have ADHD? I walk over. I get a little closer. Turns out he wasn't Shit, aborting his daughter. Thank God. Uh, what he was actually doing was protesting the abortion clinic. And I've never seen this shit before in real life. It was crazy. Like, he's like heckling these yeah, girls as they go in. You know, he's just screaming at them, you're gonna burn in hell. And these girls are so New York about it. They're like, I just have chlamydia, you pussy. <laughs> burn in hell, I'm burning now. That's why I'm going to the fucking clinic. So I'm watching like this that. go down and I'm torn, right? Because naturally as a man, I want to protect these women, right? But as a comic, I love a rose, right? So I'm like, how do I fit in this shit? And then all of a sudden, this UPS employee walks into the clinic and I had to. I had to. At least someone wants to deliver. It was the right thing to say. <laughs> Guys, he got in on it. He was like, same day. It was unbelievable, bro. Like, chemistry was there. Chemistry was there. I like that. So I'm standing outside a clinic, right next to this dude who was like very passionate about abortion. I realized I never spoken to one of these guys before. So I'm like, I just gotta talk to him. So I went up to him and I was like, hey man, I don't wanna interrupt your old take your daughter to work day. I think, <laughs> take your daughter I think to it's work. great, you wanna spend time with your family. Obviously not everybody here gets that. <laughs> I go, buddy, I just gotta know why are you so against abortion? And the guy looks at me, he goes, I'll tell you what changed it all for me. It's these new sonograms. Thank God a few of you guys said, what? We're idiots. I didn't even know they upgraded the sonographs. 
they completely changed the sonograms. It's not like the uh, back in the day one. shit to look at you and pay your cable. Remember those? <laughs> Remember the black paper with the gray clouds on it? Those were abortable. Let's just be honest, <laughs> right? Like, doctor hands you that shit like an etcher sketch. You're like, not the thing. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, kiddo. But the new ones are HD, 4D, not 3D, 4D. You could hear the baby like, keep me. <laughs> I'm in here. What are you doing out there? That's not where you hang a shirt. We're going to keep upgrading. <laughs> 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 So I'm looking at these images, right? And I'm like, man, this is visceral. This is hard to, this is hard to disagree with. And then I notice all the images he's showing me are from much later on in the pregnancy. So I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. What about early on? He goes, I don't care. It's killing a baby. I'm like, but bro, it's not even a baby yet. He goes, yeah, but if you leave it there. No, that's dumb argument. It's gonna grow into a baby, so it's a baby. And I was like, you know what? Your daughter's fucking hot, bro. <laughs> this guy loses his fucking mind. <laughs> the fuck you mean my daughter's hot? She's 10 years old. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, like, yeah, but if we I know. Her... <laughs> I knew. I caught up too late. I caught up too late. <laughs> She's gonna grow into a woman, Pops. <laughs> I caught up too late. When pedophiles are pro <laughs> You decide. That was good. What's up, guys? So... That was Andrew Short's infamous uh, abortion, and uh, the thing is, I can't. I completely, I completely forgot it came out in July. It's been two fucking months. I didn't record for a while because I had some shit going down. But still, I haven't had the chance to watch it. I've been avoiding it everywhere. I've been constantly avoiding it non-stop. Not watching it even if I wanted to. I've been constantly avoiding it, and it's absolutely worth it. Just watching it for the first time. It's bang on. So brilliant. That last joke, for a second I was like, it doesn't make sense, and then it clicked, it clicked, it clicked so fucking late, I can't believe I didn't get that joke at first. It clicked, the moment he opened his mouth again, if you, and I was like, no, I know where he's going, I knew where he's going. It was absolute brilliant, it was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fucking uh, argument. <laughs> Fucked up one, don't get me wrong. But still, it was absolutely brilliant. I really, really loved that. And the whole concept, when he started out, when he started the beer about abortion, I was thinking like, it sounds so close to what, uh, what's his name, Dave Chappelle did as well. Like, it is woman's role. And then he changed it to saying, uh, if you can kill the motherfucker, at least I can abandon it. You remember that joke by Dave Chappelle? I thought it was going in a similar line, but he went in a completely different direction. It was still absolutely brilliant though. I really did enjoy that. I hope you did too. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and if you have any suggestion, anything you want me to react, to, uh, react you want me to react to, do let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.